Concrete Castles and welcome back to our behind the scenes series where we talk about the filming, recording, and making of all the songs to our upcoming album. This is song number four, So Addicted. <laughs> For So Addicted, this was the very first song that we wrote on the very last trip to LA to write. We got on the plane, we said, guys, we have one last shot to write this album. <laughs> we gotta make it good. And this is the first thing we came up with. We were all fresh. We were all excited to be there. We were all ready to write some, some bangers. And this was the first thing that popped out. So not to get it confused, Dollhouse was like the first song of the whole entire album of all of the writing cycles mm -hmm. that we went through. I think we did like three different writing trips. This was the first one of the last one. We were like, it's go time. I remember when we walked in like, process wise the day before or two days before we had left I had started to like write a song I think I don't know who I was listening to I think either Deftones or something but I had been listening to some like heavier band and I came up with like the idea for the the bass line that opens up the song and then we had to leave for this trip so I didn't really do anything with it and then it like showed up in my Dropbox I think like the night before and I was like looking through stuff and I was like that's sick John and Matt especially would like be able to write stuff that really complement that really well. So it was kind of just like, I don't know, I think I'll throw this out there and these two who are like amazing at throwing stuff on top of it will be able to, to spice it up. He laid down like the first, you know, like riff idea. And then after that, it was just like stack, 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 <laughs> so stack, stack. Many different another things. guitar, another guitar, another guitar, another guitar, a different version of like the same little parts. We're like, what if this was more triad-y? What, what if this is more like, staccato -y, like picked out what is this more like this what is this like this song was just the iteration 37 million we weren't really writing it to be a song i don't oh. think i think it was more like hey this is our first we're get, we're breaking the ice we're, we got to get back in the writing zone it was really just when like i think creativity was at an all-time high yeah. and just like we were like wanted to like really get all the ideas out there so it was just like Hey, give me another pass. Let me try this. Hey, give me another pass. Let me try this. We're doing this. This is the very first day, and you did all of the music for the song first day. We didn't even touch lyrics yeah. or melodies or anything. I was like, why can I not remember this? Because I didn't do anything the first day. <laughs> so I just remember sitting in John's studio and just writing down pages and pages and pages in a little notebook of, like, just ideas that I had, like, in my head. And then the next day, I remember John just flipping through... Um, and we found this concept and it almost is like, I don't, I feel like we kind of talked about this there, but very like Ariana Grande-esque lyrics where it's very just like over the top, like you, it's the song is basically like you are obsessed with me and it's very like feel good about yourself, like that kind of like vibe, I think very, very Ariana Grande lyrics and once we kind of got rolling with this song, I think it was really easy to kind of put it together because it was just telling a story about, you know, you are like leading someone on or like you're very like manipulative. And that was like really an interesting concept to write about. This was definitely the song on everyone's part where it's like kind of the flexing showing off like how cool we are. It kind of matches the whole vibe of the song, to be honest. But like, the whole song is very, like, show off. It was also the most tense because John does not play around with, like, not cool parts. And that's why, that's why we write with him. Like, he's so good at this, but if he doesn't like something, he's gonna be like, no, but if you he's can like, do it better. Ah, you didn't like, hit the vibe, okay. it's getting cut. Like, that <laughs> take is getting deleted. I think it really pushed all of us to, like, make this as, like, interesting and layered as possible. Yeah. I think that's what makes the song so fun is because it it is ever changing, ever evolving. Like if you listen to the guitars especially, every chorus, like two new guitar mm -hmm. parts are added. Like the yeah, first chorus like nothing that's is the like same pretty this. raw and then it builds on the second chorus, it builds on the third chorus, like the song keeps building and changing. The second verse vocally is different than Completely the first. Completely different. And then yeah. with a different pre chorus, it's just it's like an ever-expanding maze yeah. of a song, and it's I, that's why, personally, it's my favorite off the record. So 
the video for this one was awesome. It's like the first time that we've shot and like the weather has been nice near us and everyone was just excited to not have snow on the ground and yes. <laughs> be able to see your breath for this one. We went to a studio um, somewhat near us, like a, a short drive away. And shout out to Off The Grid Studios in Menor because that is where we went. When you walk into this room, there's kind of like four different segments on these different walls. Like one of them is a purely white wall. One of them is a black wall. One's like a brick wall. They have like kind of like a fake grassy area. So um, it was really easy. They had a ton of the same equipment as us. I'm sure Matt can hit on that more, but the setup was really easy. It wasn't anything like ridiculous, extravagant with mm -hmm. like crazy props or anything. But the one thing that um, I think really made this was the optical illusions with the camera lenses that are used in this. Yeah, this was, I think, by far the the easiest video in terms of like the day of and getting there and like setup was so quick. We got through everything exactly on time. Like we were perfectly on schedule that day. And yeah, it was a really fun video shoot. The whole concept of the video is that look cool. Like, I think that was like what we set out to do. It's like, what are some interesting camera tricks? What are some interesting things that just make us feel really cool and like feel like the song the makes song, me feel yeah. when you listen. It's got that swagger. It's got that like kind of like free flowingness to it. And I think that's really what's made us want to kind of go to like that infinity white wall with like colors and all that. Cause it feels that very trippy, very spacey, but also it feels like you're kind of just like floating. And that's kind of like the, the feeling I get from this song. Is it like, you're not really like, you're kind of like levitating off the ground. And I didn't want you to be able to like, look at the video and be like, oh, this is where they are in space when they yeah. shoot it. Like, I feel like that imagery is very like, you could, it's kind of like open-ended. And I think that's really why I liked the, the thought of like that infinity wall, like trippy colors, trippy camera, you know, we have the kaleidoscope filter and like a linear filter that splits us into three. Like, I think I really liked that, you know, concept. Cause it's like, I don't really want to box in like, the the imagery of this song evokes. Four of eight, we are halfway through the videos and the release process of this album. And I feel like we just got the hang of like, I was gonna putting say, out we're songs. getting better, I like, think. I'm like mad at myself because I was like, ah, oh, it should be this efficient and it should have been this easy for the first song. But hey, you live and you learn. So I you feel have like to get better. Now, it's, there's a learning process. I feel like sure. now we're just hitting our stride and we're halfway through the race. But hey, that doesn't mean That's we're gonna still slow good. down That's still good for, for the us. last back half. You know, it's only up from here. Thank you so much for watching the behind the scenes of our new song, So Addicted. But don't forget, we still have four more of these left. Four more songs, four more videos, four more behind the scenes just for you. So don't go anywhere, because we'll be back with more. <laughs>